Okay, in this video I'm going to show you um, the other device I was talking about. The uh, It's known as a ferro cell. Um, basically the ferro cell is a two pieces of glass. As you can see here, there's a piece of glass. And it's actually two pieces of glass. And in between the two pieces of glass is uh, a very thin layer of ferro fluid and some other um, medium that's used to allow the ferro fluid to flow between the two pieces of glass. Um, I believe you could use WD-40. Some people are using something called mouse milk. Um, so I think uh, they're pretty easy to make. In the middle here you see there's a tiny neodymium magnet. Let's see if I can pull it out and show you. It's actually two magnets together. It just happens to be the right height that I need. Uh, surrounding the magnet is a bunch of LED lights. You can see them there. Um, that is just so that we can see the effect. And now I'm going to slowly bring in the ferro cell into the field of view. And as you see, that very pretty sunflower pattern is beginning to form. Um, this is likely caused by the ferrofluid changing the refractive index of the glass, causing the lights to bend and um, behave the way they do. I'm not exactly sure why. I'm trying to figure this out. I'd like to actually figure out why this is making this pattern, what is in fact doing this. Um, other than that, it's quite pretty. It's quite fun. Let's see here. I'm going to take it out and put it on top. We're going to look at it from another view. As you can see, this is real time. As I spin the device counterclockwise, it looks like the field is rotating counterclockwise or vice versa. If I spin this clockwise, it looks counterclockwise. If I spin this counterclockwise, it looks clockwise. I think that's just an optical illusion. I'm not sure. Um, other than that, it makes some pretty interesting patterns. Thank you very much.